I'm Zoom's room. Um, instead of worksheets, this week and next week, I thought we could just do some online practice on a site that um, we found that's pretty cool to kind of practice math, especially um, on your computer and virtually. So um, there is the site, and I will include this link um, in the email about work assignments, um, but it's called Toy Theater, and it has a whole bunch of online options to practice um, your math. So you may need to come up with some problems, but then you could use all of these free online things to kind of help you solve. So if you're playing a game, you could have some virtual dice. Um, you could have an cl interactive clock if you wanted to try to practice some times, because I know a lot of people have worked on um, knowledge of clocks and times. Um, there's also multiplication charts. Um, this would be a great way to practice your multiplication facts. So if you're kind of thinking six times two, you can see if you can do it in your head. If you can't, remember we always talk about meet, a, meet in the middle, six times two, meet in the middle. And if you highlight it, it turns that fact a color. And you can change colors and um, practice any way that you would like. Um, but it would be a good way to practice your math facts at home. Um, if you're working on addition and subtraction, they have some cool things too. Um, like number lines that are virtual, um, and all kinds of counters. So you could um, practice there. There's also money, which is kind of cool. So you could go on to money. Make sure you say U.S. I know I noticed it uh, was a couple different countries too, so that could get a little confusing. So U.S. money. Um, and you can kind of manipulate the money. So say you make a problem, like maybe it's like you have $5 and you have hmm, a couple dimes and a penny so you could kind of make up your own problems and then you can even write the money because I know we've been talking about how to write money as well so we would probably say that means five we always put a decimal point in decimal point Boop. Um, and let's see we have 10 20 one so maybe we would do 20 Ooh, move it up a little bit, <laughs> but you can have fun with it as long as you get the right answer. The uh, details don't matter too much. And then you can even put your dollar sign in if you're talking about dollars. There's a cent sign, um, and you could make that change. So that would be a really great way um, to practice some money problems. And if you had a partner like a brother and sister or mom and dad, they could maybe kind of put some up for you um, and see if you guys could solve them and write them. Um, on the computer. So I will include the site and you could go, pretty much everything is free on here and you could try anything that you would like. I'm also going to send a site that kind of correlates with this. It's called Classroom Playground. Um, and we're going to just be doing this for math because ULS will stay the same and I'll give a writing assignment for the next two weeks. Um, the reading kind of just tells you a little bit more about what those words mean, but the math actually has games in it. So depending on your um, area that you are working on for your personal IEP goals, I know it's different with each kid, you could choose some sections in here. I would say that everybody can do some money problems and probably everybody could do some time problems. That one's at the very bottom down here. Um, I know that some students might do addition, subtraction is on right here. Um, I would also really love it if um, my older students who started working on fifth our multiplication would do some multiplication practice on here. I know we've also talked about a little geometry and fractions, so feel free to play one of those games as well. Um, but I could kind of just give you an example of how you would do it. So you click on. Um, you can actually print things out. So if that is the way you want to practice, you could print one of these sheets out. If um, you just want to play and not have to worry about printing anything, you can click on interactive. Um, and then it gives you kind of little game boards. Um, it tells you how to play, and then you can play the game just by clicking at it. So let's see, shoot at the basket and count your score using multiplication. So we'll give it a try. So see, I click on him, click on the Oh, I need to figure out how to. Oh, there we go. I have to point it. <laughs> but it's pretty fun. Um, and then they'll kind of help you solve a problem with multiplication. Some of them are kind of challenging. If you don't like it, pop back down there. There's tons of choices. So um, 
come up with one that you you like and that's kind of how a lot of them um, look to play with so you can either print or you can interact with a game Um, and maybe if you can at least spend you know 10 minutes a day or one activity a day um, the next couple weeks um, with some math activities like this um, that would be great for our assignment the next two weeks till the end of the school year all right have fun and I hope you like getting a different kind of sight and manipulatives to work with this week. Bye-bye.